Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We are playing some Pirates of the Burning Seas today. I love this game to death so much. I don't care if it's not that high of an FPS thing, it's because I got graphics at maximum badassery. Which, quite frankly, I could give two shits less about. Because this is such a beautiful game. And it'd be nice if it ran at silky smooth 60 FPS, but I don't have a thousand dollar computer to run it on. So in the meantime, here's some just graphics of me sticking around with this French privateer merchant. I mean, let's see what he wants. What do you have? You do, what do you want, pirate? This port is closed down. We don't have to answer you. Actually, you do. Now state your business or be blown out of the water. All right, if that's the way you want to play it. Two more of his friends just showed up. Oh no you don't. No you don't. No you don't. No you don't. And BOOM! Headshot! Good night, Miss Angelica! Wow, this is kinda loud actually. Hold on a sec, guys. Just turn this down because damn that is loud. I do apologize for the terrible memory that you've probably been ensuing. Alright. But yeah. Let's get these motherfuckers sunk. You know, I've seen Baron Von Games play some sh ship battles before. And it, admittedly, his naval skills are pretty good, but his is a World War II sim. Uh -oh. Mine's a pirate sim, motherfucker! Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Yeah. Plus, we got this awesome skill tree. Visible because he's kind of hiding behind him like a bitch. Oh, let me one shot him, please! There we go. Ugh, I'm still getting over a cold. I apologize. Tell me I'm not too far over. Bring it home, boys! I don't really need to do this, I just do it out of habit. Missing a hit. Yeah, that's pretty on par. I mean, just look at those graphics. Look at the models on the lamps. On the little doorways right here. On the little ladders. On the yokes for the, for the cleats. Even the pulleys look good. Granted, pretty low poly count for the high poly settings, but he still suck on that motherfucker! Yay! Oh, heavy round shot. Like I always use heavy round shot. I mean, just look how gorgeous this ship is. I'm sorry, Baron. Baron but your other but your pirate sim ain't got jack on this. I mean, just look how majestic that you could customize the paint jobs for fuck's sake. Can you do that in your game? Don't think so. Naval action ain't got jack on Pirates of the Burning Seas. I saw an advertisement on Facebook for naval action. It looked like a joke. Like it looked too Commander Nelson type of shit. You want an, a fairly more in-depth thing? Buy this game. Actually, it's free to play. Carpenter. But yes, that was just a simple patrolling mission. What are known as daily missions. 
because they're cheap, they give you a couple on hundred doubloons from the mission itself, and then about a thousand for completing it. So, if you grind every 24 hours this mission, you make some decent money. Nothing spectacular. I mean, we're talking something that's going to take a while to complete. I need to get a lot of money. But, money's money. It's pretty easy, renewable mission. And you help out the part you do the mission in. I mean, this is some of the rewards. I gain points with my faction, Players of the Brethren. Go ahead and ask I gain experience, even though I've capped that. I gain 950 gold, which is pretty important. I reduce the unrest for the island port that I'm on. And a mark of war, which is pretty good. Marks of war are used to build many large ships. In fact, there's my ship. I once upon a time had a really beautiful ship that was a refit of the vessel I'm currently sailing. Absolutely gorgeous vessel. Called a Mont Blanc Indianman. Absolutely spectacular. Couldn't beat it. It was like this thing I'm sailing now on steroids. Let's see what the. Oh, wow. Uh oh. Spanish trying to flip. Oh no! The Spanish dogs are back again. Reinforcements in three days, 19 hours, and four minutes. Now, if you don't know anything about this game, little background. The important things to note are the unrest system for ports. Now, your unrest here, and I will put a time code in somewhere about here, I hope, in the annotation section, so make sure annotations are on. That way you can skip ahead if you know. This is just for the people who might be interested in playing the game. The unrest determines who can attack what port. You have to build unrest to, an, to it be able to attack it. And if you succeed in your attack, you take control of that port for three days. Whoever has the majority sake of the ports at the end of, say, what's the cycle period? Like two months, I think? Like IRL? Like, I call them rounds at the end of the round, wins the map. Then the map resets, and it starts all over again. It's basically a never-ending conflict, and it, may, it keeps things interesting. It's always going to be diverse. Now... This red circle here and here are unrest zones. That means you can have open player PvP inside those zones, in those waters. Which is quite dangerous. Exceedingly so for me because I am flying a flagged ship. Now what does flag mean? Flag basically means, hey, you're sailing a ship that was captured that's a merchant vessel. Or, or an Indian vessel to be specific. That means you can be attacked anywhere by any other enemy nation. Because, yay, logic. Same with Santiago guy. Fuck you guys. Seriously, why'd you do that? I've noticed that. Pirates have to have hauler people. People who will haul ship, or haul their shit around for them, because they can't do it on their own boats. Because... Most pirates are what I would call tanks. Cramped, big, powerful, slow warships, basically, that don't have a lot of cargo capacity. They can go fleeting for one, two fleets, and that's about it. Maybe three, if it's a bigger ship. My vessel is one of the few exceptions to that rule. And I will demonstrate how. Now, these are some of the stats that you want to pay attention with vessels. This right here. That means only a level 50 can accept or access this vessel. Uh, right here. Combat level. Which means only that level enough can attack it, if I'm not mistaken. And below that is another important number right there. Who's this guy? Drop sails now. Huh. That's your cargo capacity. As you can see, 1,500 cargo capacity is a lot. In fact, a lot more than most. Close to 
15 times the average, which is about 100 slots. So yeah, I could go fleeting for a half hour straight and not need to port. In fact, I might run out of ammo ahead of time before I have to port just because of space concerns. And it gets a little scary at that point, I'll be honest with you, because you're sailing around a fucking floating treasure chest waiting to be raped, especially in this ship, because she is flagged, and there's nothing I can do about it to unflag her. Developers, if you ever watch this video, make a pirate refit of the Olyphant Indian men. It will be beast. Hint, hint. But yes, then you gotta pay attention to your armaments because this is a triple decker with forward and aft batteries. Which I have a set of 12s in the back, 12 pounders, a set of 4 pounders up front, long barrel chasers, a set of 20 12 pounders for the gun deck, a set of 18 8 pounders for the upper deck, and for the top deck, 6 4 pounders, which on my Monty were 10 pounders. Ooh. Wrong chat. Next up. But yes, the main way to get money is through fleeting, which I am going to attempt to do. And if no one fleets, well, it's 9.32 on a Sunday, so yeah. Most people are in bed by now. However, considering that fact, and it's already on a light server. By the way, fuck League of Blue. You guys can kiss my ass. It was because of you, I lost my fucking ship. My Monty. These ass clowns can suck it. Nope. No, that's Turtling Bay. Damn, France really wants that boat. <laughs> but yes, there's two parts to a port battle, which is when you attack a port. You have your ship combat and your Ave combat, your avatar combat. I have heard people say or tell stories about how they lost, they would have lost the ship combat because they were so poorly outmatched, but the enemy team was so disorganized that they were able to last long enough for the port to open so that they could get into Avatar combat, and they turned the tide last second in Avecom where they would have lost in ship combat, especially for us pirates. Anyone want to? Oh, come on. I know this seems rather boring, and I would love to be out fleeing right now. I'm a little gun-shy. And understandably so. You know what? Fuck it. Let's be ballsy. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Yeah. really hope this... Sauerkraut and Kavasa doesn't come back to haunt me tomorrow. Because that would suck. Oh, please don't crash. Please don't crash. Come on, baby. You can do it! No. 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 No! Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Come on, baby. You can do it! Fuck! Subscribe.